Good evening, everyone. This is Terra Quator today. Well, it's officially Monday. Welcome. It's Monday, October 21st, 2024. That does mean it's day 295. Choose me. 295. So, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm hanging in there. I'm working on a few things right now. Still, still kind of. I, I have more to do, more to do. I did a little bit of expressions work on this thing. It's, um, it's coming along. It's, it, it's, it's, it's coming along. Uh, there's still more to do. I'd like to get some of the, uh, gestures mixed a little bit, so I'll have to set the, uh, the combining tool in the, uh, gesture management in, uh, the SDK. I did try to work on the shaders a bit, though, to, to move them from um, the V-Roid shaders, because this is a V-Roid avatar. I tried to move them from that to the Poyomi shaders. Yeah, that did not go so well. Wait, let's see. Yeah, that... Hmm. Yeah, that didn't go well. <laughs> there. I'm, I have to get used to the new gesture positions. I have to keep this one, but if I can, I'll go into the animator and get the eyes a little more... Um, Scrunched down, if you know what I mean. I, I, I like to have them extreme eyes with the uh, thumbs up gesture. But it'll, ta it'll take a little more work, time, stuff like that, and getting used to the whole system. But unfortunately, with this avatar, I cannot get it moved over to the Poyomi shaders. I tried that, and it went horribly. Like, really, really bad. It, it, did, not, it did not like that. But I, I'm enjoying it. Um, before I continue, uh, I, I was asking Lilia which avatar she wanted me to use. I was like, hey, do you want me to use the one I've been working on, or do you want me to use one of the older ones? And I guess it's a question I can have for everyone else, because this, this is, you know, just one of, one of the really simple work in progress kind of things. Really, really simple. I mean, like, that level of simple. Like, my goodness, simple. Still needs a ton of work, because the file size is... Well, it's a lot larger than it needs to be. But I was like, do you want me to use this one or one of the ones I've been using before? And she's like, well, why don't you... And I think what she's saying is she wants me to stick to this. So I guess the question's going to be for everyone else. Do you want me to be using this one? Like, I'm pretty sure y'all like to see this a lot more than, um, well, any of the new ones I'm trying to work on. Because reasons. You know those reasons. But, um, yeah, I, I'm still trying to work on more male-centric ones, but I, I still like the more uh, soft look of the new one I'm working on. But, boy, howdy, the polygon count needs to get uh, reduced a little. Oh, my goodness, it's pretty. It's, uh, it's up there. But let's go take a quick tour. We are in a... Did I take... Yeah, it's in a new and noteworthy world. No, it's, it was under new. It was under new, but let me go ahead and turn this camera off real quick. You see the hands. Always do the hand check. Are my hands here? Yes, they are. Anyway, the world we're in right now is this one right here under new. It's a cross-platform uh, world called Chaotic Hideout by Emitsu. About the world, Moonlit Wanderings by Wispy Woo, a hangout world for me and your, my friends, or, you know, theirs, and anyone else who'd like to visit. Well, congratulations! We're visiting, we're taking a tour. 64 people had favorited it. It was published, uh... Today! It was published today. But updated yesterday. Okay! Definitely like the file size compared to one of the PC-only worlds I went to a while ago. What was it? Is it even in here anymore? Let's see. Uh, let's see. I was talking about it on uh, someone else's YouTube video where they were talking about worlds. I don't see it in, he in here. It was uh, a couple weeks ago. But that's alright. Anyway, let's take a quick... Yeah, let's go ahead and take a quick... Uh, <laughs> Anyway, let's see, what do we have here? Colliders, pick up a bowls. Um, let's see. I'm gonna do a quick check to see if I accidentally turned off the pick up a bowls. Cause, um, wait. Okay, well, okay. So, now that that's there, I don't like the collars anyway. I'm gonna turn the collars off. 
Okay, so if it's blue, it's on. So pick upables are on, colliders, pens. Wait. Yep, colliders are on. Okay, so that's that's how we know. Okay, uh, join notifications on, sleep mode. You know what? Let's turn. Hey. Cool, you can turn the video player off. I like that. I'll keep the rain on, keep the. Uh, yeah, I'll keep the forest fog and stuff on, particles, I'll keep all that on. But I'm turning the colors off because they creep me out. That's me. They got this dragon here. Does it squeak? Aww. This, these ones don't squeak. That's a bummer. Oh well. Anyway, let's get the camera turned back on for everyone. So uh, we can look at this again. Anyway, we're going to go take a look around. So obviously plenty of fireplaces. There's the avocado plush, which tosses around very, very well. I'll give it that. The uh, another dinosaur plush um, here. But the, I'd say the main, I mean, yeah, there, this is a bit of an attraction for, the, for right here. Um, there is... A ladder for an upstairs area, which is really, really is just a loft bed area with furniture and a bed. What is a? I kind of want this bed IRL. Not gonna lie, but where would I put it? That's that's the real question. Where would I put that bed? Anyway, pens are right in the entryway where you spawn in. You want to draw, which means if Lilia came here, she we know what she would be doing. And it is, um, you know how often when she starts doing that, more often than not, I have to cut those scenes when she does what she likes to do with pens. She likes to draw dinghies. Yeah. Anyway, I am going to temporarily, where, you know what, I'll go back into this one for right now. And we'll just, we'll just see how both of them go. Because uh, so, so far, I'm liking this one. But I would like to know what everyone else would like me, Terra, to be using more often. You're, you're welcome to give your opinions. I am fine. I am totally okay with having some feedback. But anyway, let's uh, continue on this little tour. I am a little short on time, but that's my fault. Well, partially Tessa's yesterday with her... 40 plus minute rent and then you know prepping to get on the vr <gasps> Ooh, there's a surprise down there we're gonna look at it later so there is a nice little pond right here does it go down luckily you respawn so apparently i accidentally committed uh, sudoku or something uh there are logs Nice fire. I've seen this fire in the setup. I've seen that graphic somewhere. I don't know where, though. And there is a chessboard down here. So there is a chessboard. I'm standing on the chessboard. Now I'm in the pond. Anyway, chessboard. So you can play chess. As chess. And if you can hear it, there are sound effects to the water. And plenty of sitting space in here, but I didn't see any, like, um, you know, spaces to actually, you know, sit down. You know, with a little clicky. So this is more like a, I'd say either the world's incomplete or it's a full body tracking world, which, which is fine. I, I'm FBT. But I know some people would like to sit. Actually, I don't know that many people that use sit functions. Is this supposed to be like a, I think this is supposed to be a collapsed blanket fort. That or just a picnic picnic blankets. They really like these area rugs, though. But uh, there's another area similar to that with... Another drinking wheel. So this is a party world. Uh, the background's all right. Uh, let's take a look here. I, I did see something that I really want to check out. So got to go up here to the well. Because I think little Timmy was stuck... Oh, dear. Which one was that again? It's not this one. It, ah, yes, it's this one. <laughs> Am I scary yet? <laughs> anyway, um, so there is a well right here. I think Timmy's stuck in the well, so we're going to go down. I'm going to try to go down the well. How do, there we go. There we go. So, yes, 
you can go down the well and you're just in a dry well that they've turned into you can't even call it a man this is not a man cave it is a um well it's a dry well turned into area rugs <laughs> Really, these uh, these blanket setups—they're—they're they're all area rugs. They're all area rugs. It's like, let's see if I can give you a good look at the textures on this. These, these are area rugs just by the texture alone and the overall design of them. It's just how does someone afford so many area rugs? I'm kind of jealous. But that's because I only have one large one in the living room. And then two in this bet in this bedroom, and they're they're quite small, and I I need to get new ones. The the one in the living room does need replacing. It was cheap. And anyway, I guess for right now I, I can. <sighs> I'll change back for right now. I know. Kind of go back and forth in the avatars right now to see well, what do you guys like to see more, or what would you like me using more? At least I have. Three, three more usable options with less clipping problems because my old avatars have severe clipping problems. I really need to work, learn to work on CG graphics. That's, what, ah, that's the wrong button. I really need to learn how to do that. I really do. But anyway, um, the other things I can go on about right now are, um, well, let's see. This bell apparently. I still have that. That's that's always fun, right? But anyway, um. Yeah, Sweet Pea really, uh, she, luckily she didn't keep us up as late last night with Untitled Goose Game, but it was still until, she still didn't go to bed from that until 1 o'clock in the morning. It's still five hours better than the previous night, so there is that, and that, you know, progress, I guess. Um, but Buttercup did fine at school. It's just dealing with Sweet Pea during the day, a lot of whining, and, uh... It was, it was just a debate of what I was going to make for supper tonight. Um, I'm probably just going to do grilled cheese ham sandwiches. Thank you, phone, for giving me random alerts. Anyway, yes, we're probably just going to do grilled cheese ham sandwiches. I was thinking about doing uh, lentils and ham or something with chicken, but I'll do the chicken tomorrow because I, I, if we still have some oranges left... I want to experiment and see if I can, without looking up any recipes, see if I can manage making any orange chicken and rice from scratch. I, thi I think I can pull it off, so long as I have enough oil. And of course, still have oranges by tomorrow. I mean, those oranges are really inconsistent. Mine was just not ripe. But maybe an un like a not fully ripe orange would be a better thing, so long as there's enough zest in the orange peel, because I am positive. I am positive with orange chicken, you need the orange peel. I'm positive you need that because it has more of the zest in there and that um, that more acidic bite that you're gonna want in the orange chicken. Obviously you want some of the orange juice in there so I can juice the orange or, you know, juice the orange and then add the orange peel with a, you know, greater, I think I think I have one that'll work. We'll see, but that's, that's of course, if we still have oranges tomorrow, I can give that a try. Anyway, I think that's enough rambling. I apologize for... I don't even know how long I've been at this, but... I do need to be more mindful of that, because with how much Tessa ran it yesterday, and the fact I need to be reminding myself to be charging these trackers. Um, the hip tracker... And... The... Knee trackers, yeah, it's the the knee trackers and the hip tracker are at thirty one percent. They because they're the older trackers. I I use two point oh and three point oh. I am not upgrading beyond the three point oh because they use the camera and they do that whole inside out system. And I have lighthouses, so I'm sticking to that. Anyway, maybe I should have gone somewhere a little brighter for myself and let Tessa do the touring. She is so much better at world touring than I am. And anyway, I hope everyone's enjoyed themselves today and had a decent Monday beyond, you know, just me babbling on. But yeah, hope your Monday... There are so many freaking area rugs here. They're in the rafters. They're in the rafters. They have too many... They're... 
what do they have here? Like a hundred area, a hundred plus area. I mean, this is an area rug. There's, so, they have so many. How do you afford so many area rugs? This table runner better not be an area rug. This, I really hope that table runner is not an area rug. Oh yeah. Um, Oh yeah, there's this area. Look, more area rugs, more area rugs on the on the couches. <laughs> nice pool table. I do like the pool table design. But anyway, that's gonna be enough of that. I babbled on enough. I know, I know. I keep finding more things to distract myself with. It's just something I do. Well, then again, I'm easily I am easily distracted. Tara, I get more distracted than Tessa. Then again, we could have a competition of who of who's more easily distracted. Maybe it's a subjective thing. It depends on what, if you know what I mean. Please get me to stop saying if you know what I mean. There are a lot of things I'm trying to get myself to stop doing, like a sneeze. There are many of them. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your Monday. I, I've, I've kept you here long enough. I need to get going because, again, I need to start working on supper. And, you know, I have to... I have a lot more to do, and I think I still want to work on the other avatar significantly more because I, I just I just want to get more of it done, you know? Anyway, y'all enjoy the rest of your Monday. We'll see you all tomorrow on Tuesday. See you around. That's it for me today. I gotta go.